It is Sunday, September 17th, and I am seven weeks out from stepping on stage. Um, this is going to be the first vlog of this prep series, and I'm just going to walk you guys through my day. I just had breakfast. Today I'm not lifting, I'm just going to be doing some cardio. If you guys have been following um, my past preps, you know I really enjoy the elliptical. The elliptical you burn the most calories you, because again you're using both your arms and your legs so I'm gonna be doing that and going through a full day of eating with you guys if you guys followed me on my last prep I wasn't there mentally you know I didn't perform well I didn't come out looking my best I was retaining a lot of water and I just was not proud of my my look my performance but it was out of my control so this time around you know it's been over a year and a half and I've been a bit more I've been keeping it to myself a little bit more you know I haven't been really telling many people about it just the people that I trust the people that support me you know more people are starting to know around the gym here and there but uh, the reason for that is because I feel like I put too much pressure on myself on the last prep and I really didn't get to enjoy the process because I was so focused on winning you know but this time around I'm just focusing on the process really enjoying every single day of prep enjoying the diet enjoying the training enjoying um, the whole process and because I have so much more experience both me and uh, my girlfriend Emily we both know what to expect and um, now she's she's been way more supportive you know in the past you know it can take a toll on the relationship because you're not being so social when you're when you're in prep you you're not going out to eat that much you're not there you're limited to the amount of things that you can do but over the couple of times that I've prepped, I now understand how to prepare ahead of time. You know, I'm preparing my meals, I'm taking my meals everywhere we go so it doesn't hinder the things that we decide to do, you know, outside. You know, outside, I, I, I don't have to always be anchored inside the house because I have my meals prepped, I'm taking them with me, we're still enjoying the weekends. Yeah, we're not going out to eat in restaurants, but yeah, we can go to the mall we can go to the beach we can still enjoy life without um, having to feel so restricted due to being on prep super excited to step on stage really just like last time I've always been excited I just feel like I'm more at peace this time I'm taking one day at a time I'm enjoying the process not trying to stress out so much you know and I feel like the reason why I didn't perform well last time is because I was just too stressed out but yeah guys about to do some cardio let's get it so guys I got back home from the gym just did cardio had my post-workout meal which is pretty boring it's like four rice cakes uh, 12 grams of honey and a scoop of whey protein so nothing special and let me show you what I got going on here. Right here in this little lemon bag, I got three of my meals, all right? I'm gonna be heading out in a few minutes just to check out a new podcast studio that one of my good friends built. One of my good friends and my big brother, they built it out because I'm looking to start a podcast. So, exciting times, we're gonna be doing podcasts and stuff, you know, so super excited about that. This is Emily's food. She's kind of like dieting with me. Guys, when you're dieting and prepping for a show like I am, you know, it's super important you prep your meals. Take them everywhere you go. Life doesn't have to stop just because you're in the middle of prep. You can still go out to places. You can still go to the mall. You can still visit your friends. You can still visit your family. I know for me in the beginning, the biggest mistake that I made is that I constantly needed to stay inside to make sure that I had my meals. But 
over the years I realized like, hey, why can't I, why am I stressing out so much? Why can't I just take the meals with me and still enjoy life? So I bought a bunch of glass containers, you know, and before heading out early in the morning, I prep all of my meals, put them in a bag and I go about my, my business. You know what I mean? As a personal trainer, you know, I have kind of the privilege to kind of go to the gym, go, go back home. I'm constantly going from the gym to my house. So I'm able to have my meals at home. But as I've gone more busy, I've had to start preparing my meals ahead of time and take them with me. If you're truly serious about your fitness goals and you don't have your meals ready, then it's going to be really hard to stay on track if you're constantly eating out because again, a lot of these restaurants and these fast food places, their goal is to make food taste good. And they do that by adding a shit ton of calories in it. And at the end of the day, you don't know what nutrients you're putting into your body, but you have a lot of more control and confidence in achieving your goals when you prepare ahead of time. Like, like the famous quote goals, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, all right? So prepare your meals, take them with you. You don't wanna go two, three, four, six hours without eating. Have your meals ready, take them wherever you go, and you'll know for sure you're gonna be on track with your goals. Guys, check out the studio. Got the lights, the tripod, the cameras, the Sherpa chairs. <laughs> Or boucle? Yeah. Boucle chairs. And this is my partner in crime, Josh. What's up? Get ready for a dope podcast. Yeah, he's the man behind all this camera stuff, that, the tech that I have no idea how to work. Look at this, guys. It's getting crazy. Got the lighting, chairs. We're about to add that and we're gonna be ready to go. So guys, I'm about to have my third meal. Cream of rice, two scoops of whey protein and 12 grams, grams of almond butter. Just got done filming a podcast and it was an interesting experience. Still got a lot of work to do, you know, but I was just speaking my mind. We're going through like a really good flow state talking about our natural status we were talking about motivation you know our mission as far as like what we're trying to accomplish with our lives and and accomplish with the podcast right and we're just brainstorming a lot of ideas and I give props to people who do podcasts because it's not easy you know a lot of it there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that people don't see so right here I got my fourth meal it's five ounces of sirloin steak. All right, it's not focusing. 175 grams of rice, two ounces of veggies. I got green beans and two grams of olive oil. This is my favorite meal. I absolutely love steak. Steak is, uh, and the way that I prep the sirloin steak, it's fire. I use an air fryer. It makes my life so much easier. I actually posted a video on Instagram on how I make my sirloin steak. I'm going to have this right now and uh, I'll show you my meal five later on. So guys, I've been playing this game called uh, Metroid Dread on this uh, Nintendo Switch, and I've been so addicted. And look at that, I just beat the game. Look, that's like a final cutscene. Look at that, after the credits. This game is, oh crap, almost broke it. <laughs> but this game is super addicting. Look, normal mode, clear time, it took me 12 hours to beat the game. So I just wasted 12 hours of my life on this thing. But either way, about to have my fifth meal. I got five ounces of salmon, 175 grams of rice, seven grams of olive oil, and two ounces of veggies. Okay. 
You know, when you're dieting, you got to have some vegetables. I've been having this uh, sriracha sauce that they sell at Costco. It's not focusing, but yeah, this brand right here, it tastes like you're at an Asian food hall or something. Like, it's so good. Highly recommend. You can find it at Costco. It comes in a two-pack. The other one is like a cilantro version. But like I was saying is when you're dieting, you got to have some vegetables as it allows you to eat more. It keeps you more full. But I'm going to enjoy this meal. And after this, I have one more meal. Okay. When you're dieting and prepping for a show, you eat to get a certain look. You don't really eat too much for taste. You know, taste doesn't matter. Adding sauce like this and stuff, yeah, it helps, but you gotta keep your eye on the prize, right? But either way, I love salmon, you know? All right. So guys, I'm about to head to bed. This is gonna be my last meal, right? I had this last night, this Tranquility Sleep by Glaxon. Guys, I just had one scoop of this and I knocked out. Like I, I didn't I didn't budge all night. What I really like about this supplement is that it has extended release melatonin, alright, and it yields four milligrams, which is a lot, honestly. You only need like one or two milligrams the most. So I had one scoop, you know, that's for two scoops. I had one scoop, so that like knocked me out. It was a little bit too much to be honest. So I just had half a scoop of this, right? Just cause I'm pretty, I guess I'm pretty sensitive. What I'm about to have now is just one scoop of whey isolate and 20 grams of almond butter. So when you're measuring almond butter, guys, put the almond butter on the scale. Grab your spoon, right? Grab your spoon. Turn on the scale, and now it's at zero, right? Then from here, everything that you scoop out, it should, if you have a, a decent scale, right? The, It'll give you a negative number, which is the amount of grams that you're taking out of the jar, right? So put it on the scale, turn it on, or whatever, just make sure you tear it or zero it. And every gram that you pull out is a gram that you're gonna be eating. So right here I have 18 grams, uh, and I need two more, so I'm just gonna eat this. I've had 18 grams. Now, 20 grams. Now, if someone else in your family or in your household eats out of the same jar, don't do what I just did. Don't double scoop it. I'm the only person eating out of this jar, so I can do whatever I want. I can triple scoop it. I can straight up eat out of this thing. But uh, 20 grams, that's how you do it. And for every scoop of whey here, it's 20 grams. I need 25. So according to this, one scoop is 24 grams. So I'm supposed to have 25 grams. So I kind of do the same. I weigh out. 29 grams because that equates to 25 grams of protein so 29 grams of this whey isolate so this is 22 29 boom perfect that's it next clip you're gonna see my workout i'm training chest tomorrow so Super excited about that. Love training chest just because it's one of my lagging body parts. So I really like to focus on giving it my all for chest day. Right here, first working set. 
my first exercise of Panada incline press. So it's called Power Smith Machine Dual System Upper. You know, it's, this machine has an epic name, but what's really cool about this machine, it's similar to like a Smith machine. The only difference is that it's a unilateral, so each handle works uh, unilaterally, right? It can work one side at a time and the rails come in. And what's really cool about this bench is that it can also incline upwards so you can hit shoulders with it too. So it's not just incline press, it's also sh shoulder press. And what I love about this machine is that the rails go, because the rails go inside, it shortens the fibers as you're coming up, right? So you're getting a nice full contraction at the top. And not only that, you get a really gnarly stretch at the bottom, which my opinion are the two most important parts of a movement, the stretch and the contraction, right? But this is going to be our first working sets. These plates are in kilos, right? Um, they're also labeled in pounds, but essentially have 55 pounds on each side. All right, I already did about three warm-up sets. My first working set. Let's do this. So uh, about 13 reps there. Whew. Always try to I always try to aim between eight to fifteen reps. Make sure I hit failure. If I'm hitting 15 reps, right, it's time for me to up the weight. If you're hitting 15 reps on your every side, it's time to up the weight. We're here trying to build muscle, not trying to build muscle endurance you know yeah you can still build muscle in higher rep ranges i actually like going higher rep ranges like in the 15 to 20 reps for isolation movements but for compounds it's a good chance to load up the weight you know and because you're using multiple muscle groups so why not load up the weight put more tension on the muscles you know and maybe if I'm doing some kind of drop set, then yeah, I'll, I'll do higher reps. But that was a good working set, got 13. I'm probably gonna stay at this weight. Hit it for two more sets. Last set, drop set. Second set, let's go. Push till you can't. Upper chest contraction and stretch on this machine is freaking amazing. All right, same weight, 55 pounds. What I'm gonna do differently here is a double drop set. So after I hit failure, I'm gonna drop roughly 30 to 50%, go to failure again, and drop another 30 to 50% go to failure again, all right? So here's the most important set in the whole exercise. I just gotta hype myself up, man. Like, when you're about to perform a set, you gotta get focused. You gotta hype yourself up. Dig deep, man, put some music, do, do whatever you need to do.
Let's go. Yeah, one more. Failure and try to hit partial. So I have this lower pin right here that I can rack to rack on so in case I can't reach all the way up. But I'm gonna hit partials at the end of this in the stretch position. So here we go. Two. Three, four, let's go. Uh, uh, oh, that's a work you say. Fuck. My upper chest is fucking fried right now. Right here, I got this flat machine press by Panetta. Again, this gives you an amazing stretch and amazing contraction. So literally no tension on your joint. Okay, so here, for almost every exercise I do, for every pressing exercise, I try to keep my shoulder blades back tight. This keeps your shoulders stable. Okay, so when I, here, I come down, get a nice stretch, feel that stretch. Don't fight the stretch. Feel that stretch, squeeze through that chest. And every rep, just repeat, control the negative. Your muscles are 30% stronger in the negative. Everyone always thinks about getting the weight up, but no one thinks about getting the weight down. This is warm, first warm up set. Control the negative, stretch, squeeze. So because I'm on a little bit of a time crunch, I'm gonna be supersetting this with incline flies, only because I'm on a time crunch. But normally, I like to put my full focus on one exercise at a time, unless I'm working opposable muscle groups. When you're in a rush, you gotta do what you gotta do. Back tight, shoulders, shoulders back, chest up. All right, and squeeze through that chest like you're doing an uppercut. I have the cable set down low here, all right? And I have the bench set forward enough so that I get a full stretch. Full stretch, and squeeze at the top. Control, the stretch. Two. Uppercut. It's all upper chest. Four. Up and in. Ah. So you push yourself, push till you can't. Whew. All right, there's a second working set. Gonna put a failure here, do one drop. One, maybe two drop sets, depending on how I feel. I think I'm good. Okay, feeling good. Let's go. We got this tight. Control the negative. Stretch. Squeeze. 
two, three, four, five, Drop set. All right, let's go. That's set. I'm gonna hit partials once I hit failure here. Uh. Three. Fuck. Eight. Come on. Nine. Partials. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah, shit. Done. Fuck. Last set, drop set. Drop set. That's it. Done, man. About to go hit a little bit of shoulders. No pressing. Just raises, maybe superset with some upright rows. If you guys haven't done lateral raises on the cable, you're missing out. All right, just hold on to your, hang on to this, have the cable in front of you. You can also have it behind you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it behind me, right here. Behind you, let it stretch you out, lean, come out to the side, boom, just like that. Cool. Just shoot that elbow. Fifteen. I like going high reps here. Seventeen. Eight. Nine. Uh, Twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, fuck, three. Oh, oh, no. oh. It's insane. About to superset the lateral raises with all easy bar upright rolls. But chest up, up, hold, and control. Oh, this killer. Uh, 
เอนะเอ Turn four range. Turn halfway up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck. Now ten quarter way up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh fuck! Start doing it in front of me. I feel like a better contraction when I keep the cable in front of my body instead of to the side. So here we go. Exercise, super saiyan creature curls. You know the deal. Slow negative, hard squeeze. Full stretch. Squeeze, control, negative. Two. Partials. Well, I'm doing two workings at time because I'm tired, and you know my chest is beat. So I'm just gonna do two hard quality sets, and this is, this is the last one. So I just got back home and I'm about to have my post-workout meal. I am starving. Right here, guys, I got four rice cakes with 12 grams of honey and a scoop of whey protein. Whey isolate specifically. I started my day late today just because um I didn't get good sleep last night, even though I took those that sleeping supplement. Something's been up with my sleep. Um, you know, I'm taking magnesium. I'm doing everything I can to optimize my sleep. I even have a cooling mattress where the, the mattress spreads out cold water to keep me cool at night. But I don't know. It's weird. Ever since I, I'm, the calories have been cut, you know, I've been feeling... Um, I've been struggling with, with sleep, but my energy throughout the day and my workouts are still there. Uh, 
So it's super important you get your carbs in post-workout to replenish your glycogen stores. You know, you're in there, you're working hard, you're somewhat depleting your glycogen stores. Especially when you're on a diet, your glycogen stores are getting pretty depleted. So make sure you get your carbs in, get your protein in. Um, it's going to help you build more muscle. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, comment, anything you please. If you think I'm an idiot, if you think this video is cool, if you found it informative, whatever it may be. If you like this video, please give it a like and appreciate you. Peace.